happy Saturday. Full disclosure, this is going to be a baby vlog or a vlog short. We are just going to document the process of redoing our half bathroom. Yeah, Parker and I haven't learned our lesson. We have the audacity of deciding to redo our half bath together. Now you're saying, well, Danny, you guys are pretty handy, so where, where's this anxious energy coming from? Well, the anxious energy is coming from the fact that nothing in this house has gone according to plan. You know what I mean? Like, you dig a little, you dig off the first layer and boom, a problem comes out. So, we're holding our breath. We're hopeful because it's a half bath. Like, what could go wrong? Ah, it just jinxed us. So basically, what we're gonna do is give it a little lipstick on a pig action. You know, like we're, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just cover it up a little bit, kind of give it a facelift, bring it up to our kitchen standard. Uh, no, that's bad. <laughs> do you guys wanna talk about my stove? <laughs> he came back to fix it and it's still broken. That's the fifth time he comes out. And the guy, we sent him a video on what was happening, like not the tech, we sent a video to the the guy that does sales for this region, so like the Mila rep for our region, and he's like, oh yeah, it needs more parts. And we're like, the f it does! You know what it needs? A dumpster, a landfill, and a new sister to come live here. That's what it needs. So we just basically said no. No more strangers in our home, no more techs in our home. Your tech is absolutely on, like, he's just, he's not, he's not capable. Like, <laughs> that's a no for me, boss. So we just said, no, you guys aren't allowed back on our property. Like, what, the next time we see you is gonna be with a new unit. And they were like, okay, do you want an extended warranty? And we were like, yes, yeah, five years and we're not paying for it. And they said, okay. <laughs> we'll have to talk about it in detail, though. I feel like this needs a, uh, like a cocktail sesh, maybe a wine sesh, where I'm like, let's talk about this. Let's talk about Huntington Homes, let's talk about Mila, let's talk about Ferguson, because this is a whole situation. But you guys are here for a baby vlog about our half bath. If you guys are unaware, right in that little cubby behind this dog gate, we're all cell block D, this is where one of our inmates is, is a half bath. It's just a toilet and a sink. Unfortunately, it's the only bathroom that we have downstairs for like guests or when people are in our house. So we kind of just want to perk it up a little because anytime people are, are over and they have to walk through a gate, it's a little, so at least there's like a, a prize at, at, at the bottom of the cereal box this way <laughs> to match our doorknobs. You know what I mean? So that's what we're going to do today. But first we have a baseball game to go. Well, no, I think we're going to do a little bit of a little bit of something before we go, but let's just have a let's just have a moment. I posted on my dog's Instagram that we are currently, and I say we because it always makes me feel less alone. I have been on a lifeboat for the last several weeks. It's been hard. It's been hard with the dogs. It's been hard with my sons. It's been hard with the blending. I have not had a good few weeks. It's it's been a very big struggle. You could tell there's <laughs> there is not enough of of what's the uh, Lumify. There's not enough Lumify in the planet to take away puffy crying eyes. So it's been hard. We, I've been lifeboating it for a little while now, which is why you've seen a slowdown in content and things like that because you guys come here for respite from your daily lives and I like to provide that. And I don't want to compound on it. So we're not gonna get into that, but then I also don't want to document a vlog that would just not, very, not feel very sincere. However, a DIY HGTV featuring Danny and Parker, I can do that for you guys because that's actually one thing that I've been looking forward to in the last several weeks is just walking. Do you have to scratch so loud? Where are you? No, that's Poe. Who's my scratcher? There she is, busted! Hey, hey, so busted! Scratchy Magoo, double wellness check. How you doing today, my Mr. Mister? Who's turned on right now with these vacuum lines? You're welcome. Hi, hello, my little wellness boy. Hi, who got a shot yesterday? So double, hi Mern. This is literally every shot that features the dogs. That was gross. Every shot that features a dog includes Ern, Ernie. Like every shot that features a dog includes Ernie because she bombards every shot. Hey, 
How you feeling? You wanna tell our friends a little update? So pose on weekly, a weekly diuretic shot. On top of the diuretic, he takes three times a day so that we can keep that fluid out of his lungs and keep that cough at bay. But we're struggling a little bit right now, huh, Bubba? We're struggling a little bit in our Christmas sweater. Today's the first day that it's actually really chilly this morning, which is kind of nice. So let's do a little before and after action. You ready? What's up, inmate? Did you make a mess? Did you make a mess with your breakfast? Yeah? Here's a little before action. You could tell the previous homeowners had a very, very distinct taste when it came to paint. This is like a really dark, 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 navy charcoal kind of color. And this home, was covered in wallpaper. So they had a very, a very, very deep relationship with wallpaper. And as opposed to removing it properly when they decided to paint, they just sprayed texture over the wallpaper and then painted. So the texture is very crumbly, which is how my son is able to do like this. Yeah, that's nice. You know, vandalism on your on your property, which is great. We're working on it. We're working on a lot of things. We're not winning at Benny. <laughs> okay, so the house, ha the, the whole house is lipstick on a pig, but we're just gonna bring it up to our standards, like our shade of lipstick that we prefer. <laughs> so the floor is okay. The trim looks like it was recently repainted, so I think we'll be okay with that. We're gonna refinish the walls, or redo the walls, rather. We're going to paint the walls, but we have to prime them first, but we're afraid that once we remove things on the walls, we're gonna find a lot of wallpaper, so we're prepared to texture. I'm the patcher, you know, like the texture, the patcher, Parker's more like the uh, heavy duty, brawny things. He'll remove this stuff from the walls, so like this fixture has to come down, we're gonna paint it black. We're removing this medicine cabinet, which we just realized was a medicine cabinet. We just thought it was an ugly mirror. It's an actual medicine cabinet. It's almost new, so we don't know what we're gonna do with that, but cherry's not really our style. The hand towel thing, it's not really our style. This was like very old, old house. My old house, it had that, that burn, burnished bronze look. So we're gonna remove this, put the new one here, so that when you wash your hands, it makes sense. At least to me, it makes more sense. We're removing these uh, and we're doing an exposed shelf system with kind of like a rustic pipe look. And then uh, changing this out to something that matches. So we have our little parts up there that we're gonna use. But despite it being such a small project, it's really gonna take a significant amount of time because the removal and the patching, the fixture has to be painted. This room itself is very dark, so we're gonna have to figure out how to actually see stuff in here. Oh, the mirror that I got, let me show you. Look how pretty that is. It looks just like the one the girls have in their bathroom that I got at Walmart. But this one, hello. Hi. <laughs> so this one is from Amazon. Walmart has been sold out, but we got this one on Amazon. Actually, we got most of the things on Amazon, which is exciting. Oh, and we're also gonna change out this, um, Faucet. Okay. Do you think it comes with this? Probably they, not. Huh? They usually do. Okay. We'll see. So we're 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 holding our breath. Oh, Parker got really excited and changed out the toilet handle, which I am. You know, when you turn 37, you'll understand how exciting things like this are. Like this is a matte black toilet flusher. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in your life? Like look at this. Isn't that wonderful? I'm so excited to flush the toilet now. So yeah, this is this is our situation. So I'm gonna give you guys another little before and after. This is our this is our this is our situation. It's gonna be tight in there. I don't know how we're gonna figure this out, but but we're gonna do it, right? We're gonna do this together. Yeah? You ready? So we'll just kind of vlog little bits here and there when we remove stuff, when we patch, if we run into any problems, but any of the sources, things fixtures, paint colors that we end up using in here will obviously be listed in the description box of this video. The mirror, the faucet, sexy you guys, but not as sexy as the toilet flusher. Like, are we, I think we're in line with our tastes and things like that. So, are, are you ready to demo? Let's do it. Let's get in there and get hands on. Is that your demo outfit? I'm ready. Gotta look good for the camera. Can you guys believe that Parker said he didn't look handsome in Henley's? 
And then so I bought them for him anyway, and now look at this. Never been a Henley man. He looks like a delicious baked potato, you know? Danny, Yum. Just, you know, Danny keep trying to change me. <laughs> that is not a cry for help. He just likes to get attention. Okay? Help me! <laughs> died it was literally resting on that hinge and look at how many times it was previously tried tried to mount it he probably couldn't figure it out oh my god this is so dangerous what a loser oh, you know what though at least there's no wallpaper we thought we were gonna be have a big square <laughs> cabinet I bet it's the same thing this is disgusting oh my god I can't believe it this is so dangerous it was literally okay that cabinet was full of all my overstock things if I had extra eye cream extra wipes extra whatever it was chock full of things so that thing at any given moment was really heavy that would have been so bad imagine you bonk your head and just knock it down oh no please don't be the same Look at this. I swear to God, do not. <gasps> you call this mother? I cannot believe this. This is dis this is disgusting. My heart is racing so hard right now. How do you feel about this? I'm just excited it's coming off easy. I guess that's true. Yeah, count your blessings, kind of thing. Yeah, look at all the damage, though. That's okay, that's all cosmetic, it's no big deal. And we're gonna cover it with stuff. Okay, so explain to me what you're doing right now. All right, we're removing the bracket. <laughs> that supposedly holding, oh man, I see wall anchors. So this wasn't in any kind of stud at all. Oh, thank God we never put anything in it. kind of anchors. Look at this. Do you know how many kinds of anchors there are? Well, if you do, these aren't the right ones. <laughs> oh, you know what? If I ever see this man, <laughs> if I ever see this man, I swear to God, I'm going to tell him, thank you for selling me your home. <laughs> That's it. That's all I'm going to say. You know why? Because Jesus. So I'm a God-fearing woman. He does not deserve my bony fist. Uh -oh. And we lost an anchor. Is that a secret move right there? Yeah. It's nope. called the nail. Nope. The nail flip. Mira. Just so you can get an idea. This is a pinky. That's the hole. The double could basically fit in this hole right now. Look at this one. This is a slick. Do you see that? Yep. <laughs> oh my god. I'm waiting for the surprise. And the fact that this one, this one, this one had four. The fact that this one only had three. Oh, he just forgot to put a nail in one of them. Or a, a screw. He just did three, even though there's four anchors. It probably didn't match up the holes or something. Yeah, see how far off these two are? <laughs> Out of line. Oh boy. I, uh, I'm not quite sure I want to keep vlogging this, you guys, if I'm completely honest. Because, uh, I'm not sure the internet needs to see the conditions that we have our children living in. <laughs> We may want to sell this house one day, so. We, we're eventually gonna to want to sell this house, but you know what, by the time we get there, it'll be repaired. It'll, it'll be safe. It'll, maybe the person that buys it will actually notice these things. <laughs> Look at 
juntas. at this house when we're trying to sell it are gonna be like they spray painted the faucet fixture yeah the light fixture and some other girls ghetto <laughs> that was wrong with them they could have bought a new one for like 20 bucks <laughs> god they're gross so i can't cheap. even where's my mern where's my mern where's my mern <laughs> cocktail yeah always <laughs> Oof, are you nervous Feel good. Flat black. Okay. Here we go. Light coats, everybody. Light coats. This is basically a job people like me shouldn't do. <laughs> more is more! Light coats so you don't get drips. Drips are bad. Well, drips are what people see and go, hey, they spray painted that. Smell. Oh, oh, are you affected? Are you affected? Yeah? Oh my goodness. Well, oh. yeah. mm -hmm. do you guys remember my cone? Oh, ha, I brought the cone. Yeah, I did. And we use it, by the way. That's my cone. That's my cone. If you don't know what the cone is, you, you haven't been here long enough, but this is very important. today do you want to see how well we primed the walls this blue is dark like it doesn't seem that way but once it's on this tiny little bathroom it's really dark and it's coming through so I think we're gonna have to double coat with paint paint not primer this primer was not a very good choice it's very watery we thought it was gonna be good but
but the blue is also very dark. So I'm going to show you guys the progress we've made. Tomorrow we're going to paint when we get up, probably, I'm assuming, so that the paint has time to dry and then we can hang everything up and just be done with it. The install, I think, is the funnest part of everything because you can see everything coming to life. But for now, do you guys remember how tiny the little bathroom felt? So when you go in with the light colored paint, it's a, such a much bigger room. You know what I mean? Like before, I don't know why they would do that. This bathroom, despite it being so small, has really, really high ceilings. And so not only are you making a small room smaller, but you're losing the advantage of the high ceilings that are in here. So it was not, it was a rookie mistake. A rookie mistake to put such a dark color in here. But look how pretty. This is just primer. Obviously it's splotchy and a little streaky, but once we go in with an actual paint color, which we're going with Mindful Gray from Sherwin-Williams, I think it's gonna come like all get tied in together and then all the black fixtures and things like that. But so far, I mean, not too shabby, huh? Guess who's getting haircuts tomorrow? So at some point tomorrow, we're gonna get interrupted with the painting and these two gotta go get haircuts, so that's exciting. But yeah, this is our progress for today. What a mess, huh? For such a small little project, like we really spread out everywhere. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Do you guys remember the massive, like quarter size holes that were on the wall? Like where? Where are the holes? Where'd they go? Where are they? I don't see them. Do you remember the picture mounting that we had in here? <laughs> somewhere here. They're somewhere here. I just can't see them anymore. The toilet paper holder? Where is it? I don't know. If you need me to come and patch your holes, like just 1-800-HOLE-PATCHER. Seriously? What's going on over there? Let's get a look at our light fixture. Parker's the master spray painter. Ooh, look at this. That is a beautiful paint color. Do you see that? That's real nice. Come here, Mern. Did you do this all by yourself? Did you do this all by yourself? Oh, what's a good girl? Look at that. Even that little aphid likes it. Do you see the little aphid on there? Wow. That looks real pretty. We use this stuff here. Ultra Cover Paint and Primer from Rust-Oleum. Yeah? Do you approve? You bought this for us, huh? Look. <laughs> the evidence. <laughs> I am mud. I don't am mud. Hey, you guys. 8 o'clock. This is the face of someone that stayed up late watching Aquaman. How come you guys didn't tell me I would like that movie? You know, like, I know you know me, and I know you know I don't like superhero movies. I find them extremely cheesy, and I find it very offensive that they always destroy New York City or LA. <laughs> and so I held out. I stayed awake way too late watching Aquaman, and I could see what the hype around Jason Momoa is. Definitely. That's one beautiful, good-looking specimen. So we have gotten started early. It's 8 o'clock, and by we, I mean Parker. I just spray texture on more stuff. Uh, I think I I think I just like to spray texture, you know? I I, I think it's just something that I'm enjoying. You're so good at it. point of this intro is to say that I'm exhausted, but we already got started. We will be interrupted several times today, though, because Wesley and Sophia have grooming appointments, so you'll get to see cute little haircuts in this vlog. So Sophia has an appointment at 10 in about two hours, and then it's an express, so we'll just kind of hang out a little bit for her, and then Wesley has one at 2.30. We just turned the heater on, and I'm itchy in places I didn't know I could be itchy. Like, I think my eyebrows are itchy, my corneas are itchy. Man, I looked flushed. <sighs> I, look, I look allergized. We have started with Mindful Gray. Parker's doing the top. What is that called? Trimming? No. Cutting in. Cutting in. The top part, and then I'm gonna work from the bottom to the top, since he's on the ladder. But it's looking good. This here is an example of a true, true gray. And then you could see what Parker did over there. That's mindful gray. But mindful gray is also one of those deceptive colors that applies a little dark, and it lightens as it dries. Uh, mindful, look at this guy. How sweet is he? Mindful Gray is this color in our bedroom, right there. Do you see how different it looks depending on how many windows you have, how small the room is, how high the ceilings are? 
So here it looks like a true gray. In the bathroom it's very taupey, but it's also wet. It dries cooler once it's dry. <laughs> your mom's got jokes. Your mom's got jokes. Let me see. This is your before. <laughs> and here's the after. Who's my pretty girl? Do any of you guys have a dog that if they have not been groomed or, you know, gone to the salon or had a bath or whatever in a long time, they start to get really <laughs> That's Sophia. <laughs> If we let her hair get long, she starts to get real mean. And then we short, we make it short like this. And even though it's probably not the best look, <laughs> uh, she really likes it. It makes her happy. And it's all that matters, right? Look at those pink ears. Oh, no, they're so nice. Oh, this is my pretty girl. Yes, I'm a pretty girl. She's just excited our Ugg comforters out. It's been officially cold, so it had to come out. Like this beautiful little personality. You're so good. Look at the status of our bathroom. We did all the tr trim and the cutting in. All the way up to the top. All the edges. Where is my studio lighting in here? I don't think we need it anymore. Does it help? I don't think we need it anymore. Okay. Let's see. That's, that's what it looks like dry. I like the finish. So this is what it looks like dry. It's so weird because it auto focuses and does the white auto white balance, but it's a really pretty color. But it's gonna, oh, it's gonna look so good. When you start rolling, like you're like, I'm basically done, you know? <laughs> Give me a little action shot. Here we go. Ready? Oh. Oh, I'm gonna slow motion this so hard. <laughs> You excited? I gotta take off my shoes. I don't want to mess up my beautiful Kristen's. These are my favorite winter shoes. It's not winter yet. I'm just being dramatic. Seven minutes. Seven, oh, seven minutes. Parker just said he's gonna knock out this bathroom in seven minutes. You believe him? Ready? Alexa, start the countdown. No. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh, you said to get rid of the light, huh? You sure? <laughs> Yeah, look at the difference between wet and dry. See how huge the difference is? Maybe I'm confused, this one dries darker. We have a gray in this house. There's like seven different grays in this house. One of them dries lighter. Such an oxymoron. Who's next for a haircut? Who's next for a haircut? Is it bumpers? You did my bumpers? Yeah. <laughs>
crooked. It looks really crooked. I don't know if it is. <laughs> you guys! Okay, so we completely forgot to do the bathroom reveal summary. We were so tired on Sunday. Like, guys, we can't hang anymore. I told Parker, I was like, why do we refuse to accept our age? <laughs> We were like on our last wind finishing the trim paint at like 9 p.m. on Sunday because we were committed to finishing it. Like we were committed. We said we would finish it in a weekend. It's a really tiny bathroom. It's like a five by five. Like, why can't we knock this out? It's, uh, it's taken me like four days to recover and I still haven't recovered. But here's the reveal. You ready? Before I show you the bathroom, I have to show you another reveal that we forgot to include. Oh. We forgot to include it in the vlog. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Where did what? Oh, you want to make an entrance? Did you want to make an entrance? Oh, that nice. Oh, they're nice. Oh, they're nice. Look at that baker's dozen. Look at that baker's dozen. Oh my God, that's nice. Oh my God, that's nice. Whoa, that haircut is so nice. Wesley got a haircut. It's been a few days since his haircut. He is a new dog. He acts different. He feels better. He's like super full of confidence. Look at him. Oh my goodness, you look so handsome with the haircut. Look at this. We got the baker's dozen here. We got his Polly Pocket. We got the carrot tail. Hey, get over here. Get over here. Are you? I don't show the internet your wiener. Do not show the internet your wiener, mister. No, sir. You want to show him the bathroom reveal? Are you ready? I don't think they came here for this kind of playful flirting right now okay maybe a little bit <laughs> maybe a little bit oh oh, oh no <laughs> all right you guys so you remember the before here's the after do you remember how i was telling you it was like really taupey because it's a small bathroom and when it's wet it looks almost like a warm beige but once it's dry it's like full-on gray so if you guys are looking for a gray Gray paint is notoriously super hard to buy. So mindful gray is a very good balance gray. It's not super cool. It's not super blue. It's not super warm. It's just gray. <laughs> so Parker switched these out. You know what I was thinking? I was like, in all the content that I'm doing, you're the one doing all the labor because when it's my turn to do stuff, he doesn't vlog me. Isn't that rude? <laughs> That's not fair, right? But we reuse the same bath mats the same canister and brush that we had, same wipes container. So the only stuff that's new are like all the little hardware, the little black hardware stuff that you see, the mirror and this little display action here. So I'm gonna walk you guys through it just really briefly so you can get an overview. It's such an awkward little bathroom to vlog. Oh, you see when the light hits it this way, it's a little more taupe. But then when you hit it on this way, it's like full on gray. So very beautiful gray, you guys. I'm a fan, huge fan. Okay, so this is the Genta collection from Moen. So we have the Genta toilet paper holder, the handle, the hand towel uh, bar, hand towel bar, and also the faucet. And the faucet comes with a little plug, what, whatever this thing is called. It comes with the whole set. And it's all Genta, but I believe that Genta is being discontinued. So like I had to source the towel, the toilet, the, the toilet paper, the Wesley, the faucet at different places. So I got some on Amazon, I got some at Home Depot. So they're definitely discontinuing this line, but you could still find it. So if you guys love it, I just love how simple it is. Super simple, clean lines, there's no details, there's no texture to it. It's not, it's matte, but it's not a very opaque matte. It almost has like a satin finish to it. This mirror is a good dupe for the $59 one from Walmart that is always sold out. I got this one on Amazon. It comes with the mounting stuff, but it's not very reliable, so we mounted it ourselves with different anchors from Home Depot but it has a really nice finish to it. It doesn't feel cheap. The light fixture is from Home Depot. It's actually old though, and Parker just spray painted it with matte black spray paint, not chalk paint, matte black. I think it's called, I'll link the spray paint, the exact can that we used. It's not chalk paint. 
Then this little setup that we have here is also from Amazon, and this is a little bit overwhelming. So when you're looking for a industrial looking shelf, like with this kind of stuff here, it's very overwhelming because there's so many options and the dimensions are very confusing. So for example, this one sticks out very far. So we had to mount it very high so that if you're using the restroom, you don't bonk your head. So make sure that you pay attention to these uh, shelves if you buy them. Make sure that you measure the distance, not necessarily of how big the shelf is, but like how far it actually comes out. And it does mount directly to the wall as opposed to having hinges that stick out or um, you know what those bars, what are those called? They're like like braces almost that stick out and then the shelf sits on them. No, these stick directly into the wall. So they're secured at four points there, 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 and there. Anyway, this is cool too. The vendor actually has this shelf in many different dimensions up to I think 48 inches long, but it is kind of heavy. So you gotta make sure you have the right mounting screws and anchors for the right place. So I would say try and find a stud, but if you don't, you could also mount on drywall. Two of them are on a stud, two of them are on drywalls. And then, because this is gonna be a more clean, sleek, modern, minimalistic look, I had to be able to hide things in plain sight. So I kind of raided the gray basket <laughs> department on Amazon and I found these guys. Let me stand on the toilet. Hopefully I don't break the lid. <laughs> so this is a set of two baskets. It's actually plastic. And this is where we're keeping the toilet paper. Then we have this little basket here, which is intended to go lengthwise. And it's a set of two. This guy here goes with this set here. So this one, this one up here nests into this one. And so up here we have our extras. So extra toilet paper, extra uh, flushable wipes, which we don't flush by the way. <laughs> and then we have this basket, which is like my stuff. So I have extra panty liners. I have lady wipes. I always talk about these, but y'all, if you see these at Target or Ulta, pick them up you're gonna love them. They smell so good, they feel so nice and refreshing, and they make you feel really, really, really clean in a non-stripping kind of way. Anyway, Parker put these in here because he said he wanted to put stuff in the, in the baskets too, so that's Parker's contribution. <laughs> this is also a set of two, but I only used one of them. You could see I wanted to keep it super, super simple in case something else comes along that I need to store here. We have kind of room to grow as opposed to have to make room for things. So this little basket is so pretty. Like I said, it comes in a set of two. You could see the texture up close. It's lined and it's soft and then the frame is wire. And so we got two bottles here, also from Amazon. They're a matte black, one with sanitizer, one with lotion, because these are the times that we live in. And two of our favorite potpourri scents. You know, we're, we're, we're classy poopers in this house. And then this is a really cool leather looking, so it's vegan leather, it's plastic. <laughs> it's P-U-L, it's a sleeve for your tissue box. And it comes in like 20 different colors. So they actually have a really dark gray, like a charcoal color, and then pink, blue, black, toffee brown, leather, whatever, like every single color you could think of. I just thought it was a really nice way to kind of camouflage the Kleenex box, but still provide tissues if you need them. So that's kind of what we did. Isn't that cool? I'm actually super proud of it. You got a plan for it. I don't think it's reasonable to say you could do it in a <laughs> weekend, but we did and I love it. I'm super, super happy with the results. So I'll make sure to source all these links for you guys. Everything, everything is, um, almost everything is from Amazon. I think even these are from Amazon. So these are refillable wipes containers. They're from the brand Ubi. It's like a baby, baby brand, but I love their containers because they have that little window and then you could actually fill. So we take our flushable wipes and put them in here and it has this weighted, like this thing is super heavy. And so that kind of keeps the wipes down and then it has a seal and that keeps the moisture in. So we really love that. Plus it's very, oh Parker, look at, does anyone else have a man with very dirty hands? That man, I don't know, he gets so dirty doing everything. Um, 
so we wanted to keep our wipes fresh you know in bulk in plain sight but very sleek looking i have these in all the bathrooms so i think i got these maybe on amazon but i know for sure target has them so i'll link that too and those two are also from amazon it's like a little bamboo trash can a little with the lid and then the brush from amazon as well oh my gosh look there's paint on this too i parker <laughs> Right, buddy? Hi, Parker. How many times do we hear, hi, Parker? <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog short with our little bathroom remodel and obviously some super cool dog haircuts, you know? <laughs> I told you guys at the beginning of this vlog that life has really, has really made us the butt of its jokes recently and it's been kicking our butts. We're still there. Hasn't gotten any better, but I think we're just kind of readjusting, you know, ebbing and flowing and just readjusting to our new normal, readjusting to our new normal. Like what is our new normal? We're living in this perpetual state of like micro trauma <laughs> and it's getting old, you guys. Oh my gosh. From like parent teacher conferences to like really packed schedules and like hormonal kids and yeah, it's just like one thing after another with work and or, or I had to rush Ernie to the ER two days ago. It's just, a break would be nice. A break of just nothing. <laughs> nothing, you know? No email from a teacher. No call from a vet. No surprises in the house or work or the kids or parents or our health. Like just nothing. Nothing would be nice. So consider this vlog a prayer and well wishes for you, my pandas, of nothing. I hope nothing for you. I hope a time of quietness is approaching for you. I hope a time of peace and lull and tranquility is happening for you or is in the midst of happening for you because we could really use it. <laughs> Like I said in this vlog, anything and everything that you saw, what we wore, what we did, all of the links for the stuff in this tiny little bathroom will also be listed and linked in the description box of this video. But know this, I love you guys so much. Thank you for sticking around and uh, you know the drill. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys! Bye from a new bathroom! Who thought I would be vlogging in the bathroom? I did, because it's this is what we do around here. <laughs> Who's next to the toilet? Wes is next to the toilet. Who's next to the toilet? Oh, Wes is next to the toilet. Mm -hmm.